the Finance Committee approved $70 million to be taken from a surplus fund. Today it goes to the full city council. There was division in the committee meeting, and today there could be conflict in the full city council meeting. Mayor Brandon Johnson proposed adding $70 million to support migrant care, anticipating that more new arrivals will come before the Democratic National Convention this summer. New arrivals have moved out of Park District facilities. The city reports 9,100 are staying in city and state-run shelters, and fewer buses are dropping off in Chicago. In committee, some alders struggled with the idea of helping migrants, while the south and west sides have tax-paying residents who are also in need. There has to be. There has to be more transparency. People need to understand how these funds are being spent, and we need to move with all expediency to help people get on their feet so that they can start taking care of themselves. Uh, what we don't want is another situation where we have people in front of police stations, living in tents and parks and everywhere, um, and we're going to see a lot of other bad stuff happening. They're also supposed to talk about shot spotter. Mayor Johnson ended that contract, but some elders want to keep it going. It was that technology that led police to that mass shooting in back of the yards where a nine-year-old was killed and 10 others were wounded. Also, they're supposed to talk about e-scooters and whether they could be ridden after midnight. Some who are opposed say that would be a safety issue. At City Hall, Joni Lum, Fox 32 Chicago.